big playground when suddenly fat man burst from the shade and hit Godzilla with a bat grenade. Godzilla got pissed and began to attack, but didn't expect to be blocked by Shaq, who proceeded to open up a can of Shaq Fu when Aaron Carter came out of the blue. And he started beating up Shaquille O'Neal, then they both got flattened by the Batmobile, but before we could make it back to the Batcave, Abraham Lincoln popped out of his grave and took an AK-47 up from under his hat. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to Friday Fight Time on Course Google's Weekly number 48. My name is Merc Mercenary. Anary. And um, I'm your lovely host. Hello. I have only seen Wolfius, but no one else. There are more people around here just today. We have like seven people, I think. Let me just check real quick. Real quick. I'm scared. What is this? Oh, it doesn't work. Does it? No. Okay. Um. Oh no! Right. Um. I changed that. Right. I need to. Switch real quick to um, to the bracket results. Hold on. I'm the only one. I've always been the only only Merc. I'm in your head. Are you just one of the voices? No, get out, get out! Ah! Oh wow. Um, I need to adjust that real quick. Are you ready for some school girls? All right, I cannot adjust it like that. Are you? S oh, that that sucks. I thought it actually worked fully. Actually, um, do I want to stream every game here? Nah, we'll just choose. Uh, hold on. B -b 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 uh, is this big enough? Yeah, seems like it. Um, anyway, um, I'm still happy that you're here, Wolfius. But to the people who are not writing and just want to check things out, or the people who are just watching the replay, um, we'll be streaming just a random game of my choosing. Everybody may play in round one, losers round one, round two, losers round two. Until semifinals, because semifinals, this is where every set will be streamed. Yes. 
I'll usually mm, don't try to stream any games in losers, but we'll see depending on how the schedule works. So, um, yeah, I think it should be good to go with that. Um, oh, people are watching you? Alright. Anyway, um, Wolfius, how have you been doing? How, you've, how have you been doing this past week? Tell me, tell me. Are you playing? I do not know, let me see. Um, you're not you're not playing actually. What's up with that? <gasps> Wolfius. Um, pretty fine, just too much playing for the day. No, that's fair. I do get that. More than 200 matches. What? What did you even do? Anyway, let me choose the first people I want to see. Uh, Milk or um, Polkrum? I do not even know this person. I know Milkor, but Paul Crom. Oh, they're not even on Discord. Oh wow, I need to like um, make a lobby real quick. Hold on. Oh, four. There we go. Now it should work. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Wait, what? Oh, I just... Ah! I... Why did I do that? Why did I ping this person? There we go. Ever you are, please join the join the lobby. Oh, probably some entirely new people, but um, we'll find them eventually. Paul Crum, Wolfius, do you know who Paul Crum is by any chance? Also, I do not see anybody play right now. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we have something. Nice. Maturi and Apple Tess are going to get ready. Alright, things will be getting fresh. Ah, hey, Polkrom! Oh, nice! Um, Polkrom, are you on the Discord? I really hope so. Let me just try and ping you again. All right, you're not. Um, I'll send you the server invite real quick, because you need to join our server, our Discord server, in order to participate. Hold the phone. Uh... Ah, no, not EU. You need to be in the official Final Fight Time server, with like a separate one. I hope the link in the chat will help you. This is like an invite. And this should show that I should be able to ping you when you like join it in a bit. Yes. Because every like single um, stream, game and whatnot will be shared from here. Also, that's a bit loud. Or maybe these are just my ears. Ugh. Yeah, um, just tell me if like music is a bit too loud or something. Ah, Paul Crumb, there we go. Oh no, I am an idiot. Uh, no, I didn't meant to do that. I meant to do this here. Ah, now you have to lobby link. Ah, I should have pinked you just now. And then we should all be good to go. What is that gif? What the heck? Jesus Christ. Um, anyway. Where was I? Okay, Maturi versus Appletizer Knight. Um, Soup versus Azumi. Milkor versus Polkrom. And G2H is waiting for the next opponent at round two. Ah, there's Polkrom. Awesome. 
Actually, I think I need to decrease the music a tiny bit. That is a bit too loud. And increase Skull Girls by Landslide. There we go. Everything should be good to go. Oh, that's a bit too loud. Holy no, 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 don't, don't, do not erect me. Ah! There we go. Now it works. Perfect. <clears throat> Everything should be set. Yes. Um. Yeah. First game for today. Nice. Pulkram plays solo Eliza. Okay. And Milko are... Oh, Peacock, Robo, and Eliza. I remember Milko actually just playing Eliza. <laughs> Things have changed. Times have changed. <sighs> hmm. That should be fine. Again, Eliza has um, decent tools to actually get into Peacock. Probably the only character which can actually fight Peacock very well. Or like in a decent way. In a fair matchup, quote unquote. <laughs> oh, nice axe. Oh, I dropped it by accident. Never mind, getting the combo in here. Nice. Oh, I dropped it again. No! Oh, eating a lot of damage. Nice. Actually, let me just like um, adjust the music just a bit more again. This is still a bit loud. There we go. Do we have everything? I hope the stream is also like not too laggy. I will encourage Azumi as I can. She's Bel Belgian, so obviously cool. Are you also from Belgium, Buffius? I don't remember. I do believe so somehow. I believe that you are from Belgium. <clears throat> it's a bit laggy. Okay. We can fix that. We can fix that. Don't worry. Just give me a quick moment. Hi. There we go. Now we have it. Oh. I think now it should be fine. Or at least it was just now. Huh. Uh, yeah, it should be better actually. Oh well. I'll see after the game here. Again, Milko doing some decent work actually with Peacock. Let's see, very offensive. And they do know what they can could do when it comes to reset some pressure. <gasps> oh, gets hit by a crouching that kick. <gasps> oh, drop dropped it. Okay, awkward times between here. And oh Milko not using the super, okay. Ooh, they're going to regret that if not careful. Ah, damn it. Pokemon had like multiple um, hits in neutral, but weren't able to confirm it into a combo, sadly. Ah! God damn. Wait, what happened? Oh, it was only um, two games. Um, hold on, I need to like tell Pokemon. It's first to free. I think Polkrom thought it was um, first to two. Milk was pretty new on scoreboards, but exper experiment FG's player, so he's obviously going on team right now. Obviously, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I don't remember. I don't know that many people will like only stick to solo anymore. I mean, it is a team game after all, so... And it is annoying to just like, face a solo, if I'm honest. Can be kind of heartbreaking if you suddenly like just lose with two resets or even one against a solo. And they regain their health or something. Mm, okay, Pokemon having a good start. Oh, nice sweep. Careful. Oh. Ah, a bit interesting to like see what there's going on right here. Nice, okay. 
Into full screen zoning, very safe for Peacock. Again, Milkor is also like able to just throw out some Lennies if they really feel like it. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, the tag, okay. Milkor also like going for a lot of zoning here. Careful. Oh, jumping MP hits. We said. Wasn't intended, probably. Ooh, careful. Ooh! The crotch me and Kip confirmed, actually. Oh, nice. Polkom getting back in. Ooh, blocked it. Dropped the combo by accident. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, I don't know how Eliza could approach it very well. Besides of, like, um, the ship. Mm, seems a bit in iffy situation. Oh, standing HK, that's an overhead. A very fast one. Mm, I do know what Milko is like going for with like the jumping medium punches. But I need to like do it a tiny bit later so it connects and you can continue with like ground combos. Or grounded moves, I mean. Oof. There we go. Man, it's just me or still like the game a bit laggy for them. I mean, I do see some delays in between. That's kind of weird. It was a bit laggy. Ah, okay. I was about to say, even the spectator view actually um had a bit of a delay. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, we could get G2H actually. G2, G2H, and Matori would be very cool. Yes, we could do that. Very good. Ah. Also, hold people at home real quick. There we go. Ah. But yeah, sometimes legs like these just happen. If it's like really unplayable, then um, there are going to be some things that are like um, uh, that we can do to prevent those kind of situations from occurring again. Oh, Merc, you cannot talk today, now can you? All right, we have G to H, but I would also like to know who Azumi is. Wait, Wolfius, you told me um, you're like encouraging Azumi. Who is Azumi, by the way? Should I know them? Do I know them? Hmm. I'm curious. Ugh. Alright, now we're going to see some power plays here. Some gamer power. Wait, Matori is... That's Matori, okay. Yeah, okay. With Fukura and Big Band? Wait, what? Was this always like their team? Oh my god, also G2H is like starting out with attacking Big Band as well. Oh yeah, Matori does want Fukura and Big Band. I remember. Ah. Uh, I'm such a fool. Oh, nice overhead by Pain Wheel. Into the corner pressure. Oh, did you block? Nice, okay. No matching against the G to the 2 to the H. Let's see with Big Band. Oh, accidental backdash instead of push blocking. Oh, that is so... Oh, I hate when that happens. I know that feeling. Nice big extent, but Pain Wheel was able to just combo. Eliza took all the beat extent. What? I thought both would have been hit. Alright, super fast game by G2H, the first one. Probably just a warm up for Matori. Do we have everything? Yeah, we have. Okay. Oh, also Shovel Knight music. Man, I love that game. I love me some Shovel Knight. Still feels like a very recent game in my, in my mind. But it's like... A game from 2016, I think? Jeez, I don't remember. Oh, uh, all the... 
Um, hold on. There we go, okay. Um, oh, Matoi actually starting very strong. <laughs> nice burst bait. Are you kidding? Is this... I have a playlist with, like, different music, yet... I get the character select music from Skullgirls. Oh. There we go, we can change that. Nice, sir. There we go. Okay, T2H starting very well. Oh! Yeah, Eliza is really able to tank, take a lot of hits, actually. Again, Eliza is quite tall. But it is kind of, like, surprising. Eliza assist isn't too bad. <laughs> nice tag! Ooh, Matui also having, like, three bars. Oh, no, it's actually death. Holy moly. Ah... All right. Ooh, I see, I see, okay. A bit of a rough run, I see. I repeat the word C a bit too much, okay. Mer, keep that in mind. <laughs> Actually, I want to have a funny picture on the stream. I want to have the funny. I can't find funny. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Hold on. There we go. Nicer. Oh, nice confirm with jumping medium punch by um, Pinwheel. Oh, oh, what? Oh, the fight cancel into just like the, um, there was it called. The armored normal, jeez. No, okay, grab. Didn't work. Ooh. Afuka versus Painwheel is a bit of a weird matchup. Again, like, air to air, usually Painwheel takes the win. Unless Matori, like, stays a bit more zoning out and whatnot. That doesn't seem to be the case. Also, Big Ben bleeding quite a lot. Matui needs to be careful. Block that, nice. Gets the skeleton out, the HC. No confirm. Nice. Oh my goodness! Oh, do not drop, Matui. Do not drop. Just finish, okay. Oh, smart, okay. The cross up with the brass assist. Confusing to say. Oh, this could be it! Nice, okay. Oh, drill into. Level three. Oh, okay, that confirms. Nice. Ooh, hoo, hoo. close one. Okay, two one. Still for D2H, but who? That oh, that was way too close. Holy camoly! Don't give me a heart attack. Hmm. Do you have some funny pictures here? Hmm. No, not really. Or do I have one here? Actually, I'm going to like add one after the set here. Or after the game. Oof. <clears throat> oh, let's see. What is happening? Oh. Uh, I think Matori has a bit of a controller problem. Oh, wrong team. Okay, there was a mistake. Okay. Okay, G2H is just going to finish the, the game real quick. So, um... Uh, Matori can, like, choose the real characters. Or at least the ones with the um, correct assists. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. This is not, um... The, 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 the fourth game. That was just a mistake. At the picture. Oh. Hold on. This is a funny picture. 
Oh, I cannot add a funny picture. God damn it. OBS, why you do this to me? Okay, now this is the... Yeah, the correct team. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, I think Matomi actually used Philia just now. Oh, well. It's a Fukra. I'm silly. Oh, okay, nice tag, but Big Ben just takes the tag damage. And Matomi gets a free combo. Ooh, burst baiting. Oh, nice! Catching off the other tag. Ooh, what we said are we going to see? Another burst, okay. Ooh, okay, getting some nice damage on the big band. Oh, nice. Confirm. Oh, but Fuqua just matches out. This should actually kill Pain Wheel. Nice. Into. Yes, okay. G2H only have with Eliza, but having three bars. Let's see. Ooh. Nice shadow. Oh, but Mr. Confirm. Ah, never mind. Another one. And another one. Uh, oh, Matoi going for like the same burst bait. Hmm, okay. I mean, you would never expect it like a three or four times, right? It is a decent gamble. Oh! Oh my god, the Eliza confirm. Almost was real. Almost real. Oh, nice air grab. This should be a dead Fukra. If no drop occurs. But I do not believe so. Detroit H is usually clean with their combos when it comes to Eliza. No! Okay! Did he do it on purpose? Nice! Okay. Now they should be able to kill the big band, right? Please? Nice! Okay, using all the free bars. Let's see the incoming. Ooh. Oh, goes for the airborne, actually. Not the drill. Not the, I mean, not, not the spiral. It's usually like a very, very decent um, incoming attack. If you are faking um, cross under or just like attacking in general. Nice. Okay, D2H, very smart. Taking it right here with a 3 1 against Matori. Ooh. With a surprising just end of a combo. Nice, okay. Um hold on. Bracket, can you show? Hello, bracket results. It's not showing on the stream. Okay. Very cool. Um three one Nice. Oh, now it shows. Perfect. Mm, Mirko and Ravenna already played? Mm, let's see. Mm, no, they haven't. I guess we'll be playing or like seeing Mirko and Super actually. Uh, 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 uh. Milk. And soup. I don't think they've already like done something. There we go. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. It did, did not start. Oh, Super Mario World. The classic. TBC all oh, conditioning. No shampoo. What? You need to use shampoo at one point. I know conditioning your hair is the most important thing, but shampoo, you cannot miss that, soup. Crazy, crazy. Are you one of those conditioner only people? Oh, wait, hold on. What was that? Uh. No, okay. I thought I was actually, um, what was it? Being pinged on Discord. That was strange. Da, 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 da. Nice, okay. 
I wonder how Soup is going to fight that. Wait, Super Soup ran Eliza? Pain Wheel and Big Band? What? What? I don't remember that. Oh, right. I remember. I remember. Um. Right. No. Is it Wolfie's team? Something is up with Soup's team. I remember Eliza, but not Pain Wheel somehow and Big Band. Weird. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, nice. Nice zoning by uh, Milk Girl, by the way. Ah, oh, no mind, gets hit. Ooh, and finishes the. No! Oh. Okay, directly with the war attack. Careful. Nice sweep, but no full combo! <gasps> oh, and the pain will attack into another combo. Ooh. Okay, we said. Oh, almost had like a second confirm. Careful. Milkon needs to respect Penguin's pressure. Ah, but gets hit and Robo's down. Use a bit more of Lenny, Milkor. More Lennys! You need to just throw them out. Doesn't matter, it's a win win situation when you use it. It just brings pressure and chaos. No one wants to approach that. Nice overhead, confirm, against Painwheel. And the, s the snap. Oh, Horus, overhead. Into the neckbutt. Another one, this is going to kill? Nice. Is it going to like heal well? No, oh, it's decent. Oh, the DP! I'm getting both of them! Oh, please tell me you know every birthday. Oh, level 3 actually is enough. Level 3! Nice! Oh my goodness! Milko may not be sold with Peacock and Robo yet, but Eliza is still there. Whew! Ay ay ay! But Milko, please, if you're listening, use Lenny, please! Please! It's such a good super, it's. Mwah! Top notch. You can't beat that. Just like threatening someone with like a ginormous bomb which could even damage the user himself or herself or whatever. It's threatening. It's terrifying. Plus you are a Zona. You do not need to approach. Throwing Lenny at round start is even viable. It's still easy it is. Nice, okay. Um, jumping light kick into Lenny. Oh my god, you actually listened, you mad person. Oh, nice, but... Oh, Big Ben did not take the bomb, actually. Weird. Oh, well, that's fair. Nice, okay. Ooh. Try to continue the combo. Against Pain Wheel, using the Lenny is actually very good, too. Pain Wheel has to work with that, and it's super annoying. Ooh. Oh, wow. Um, we have um, super fans here. Okay. Nice, sir. Oh yeah, I remember Popeyes. And Chop too. Ooh, careful, Mikko. Oh, the best hits into a jumping MP from Pain Wheel. Ah, doing decent actually, Chop. Doing quite well. Just hosting regular Friday Fight time as usual. And yeah, overall, just um, had a good week, I would say. Overall. How about you, though? How about you, Chop TV, my friend? Oh. Oh my. Robo was able to confirm after that? Jeez. Glad I could catch this one, honestly. Aw, that's lovely. I do am happy if people enjoy it. Even if we are not the most amount of people. It's been a light rock week, so I've been enjoying myself. Very nice. Sometimes things just need to go a bit lighter. How balanced should be. Ooh, but okay, a milk are just taking it a bit more back. Okay, soup only left with big band. <gasps> Beat extent? Right away. Oof. Almost a bit of a 
uh, risky situation. Into SSJ, okay. Soup is not waiting for anything. This is could be deadly. Oh, smart idea, but the Robo Beam was already there. And this will be it for the second game. Milko takes it. The soup big band, yeah. All right, all right. That was a bit rough. Milko is aware of the SSJ shenanigans and the beat extents. Ooh. It's cause pain wheel team. Ooh, yes. Pain wheel is holding you back, soup! John, 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 what? Hmm. Yeah, Milka are doing quite decent. But I am surprised. I thought that Soup had like a bit more experience with zoning due to my dumb shenanigans from... I don't want to say back then, but um, it has been quite some time since I played. <laughs> Oh, nice. Pr um, grab parry. Grab check, I mean. Nice. Okay, threatening with the M item. M item. Always a good thing. A very good item. Makes almost every single approach a peacock makes safe. It's insane. Uh, but never mind. Peacock is dead. Peacock died. Happy ending confirmed. Dead grab setup is mad cheap. Yeah. Skogals is a dirty game. Ugh. Ooh, okay. Whoa, that was a weird burst bait. But still, again, interesting one. Oh my god, getting... <gasps> Never mind, okay. Ooh. That would have been bad for Soup if they, like, lost the Big Band too. Oh! Oh, yeah. No Dizzy. Um, after the second combo stage, I think. But I'm not sure how the Dizzy works again. I'm sorry. But yeah, Dizzy did not apply from the core. And not against, um, Soup. Ooh, careful. Nice, confirm, rest of reset. Oh, okay. Mashing Super, but still confirms. Ooh. Painwheel with brass assist wins these. Well, Painwheel has like a bit of an easier neutral, that's for sure. But, um. Milko's Eliza is quite strong. Who? Internal 3, is it going to kill? It is! Milko taking the set with a 3 0. Ay, ay, ay. I did not expect a 3-0. Damn, I commented as cursed soup. You sure did. My bad gamer. No gamer is excused for this kind of lucky behavior. What the frick? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, let me... Is it refreshing? I love challenge. It's such an optimal side. Oh, there we are. Nice. Um. Oh, am I lucky? Maybe to see Azumi and Maturi. Uh. I'm a bit too late. Oh, they're already in the middle of things. Apple Tazer and Super Code Mac. Yeah. Soup and appetizer. Soup and apple. Apple. All the bracket websites suck, yeah. Um, this other site that um, Kill Sage uses um, for the Mixmasters we had just a few months ago. Something with dot gg. Um, also, isn't like the best I've heard. Uh, I want to see Soup vs. Maturi for the history. Ooh. But Soup and Maturi are not facing each other. Maturi is facing Azumi right now. And I sadly was not able to catch Azumi 
Which kind of sucks. I feel very bad for that. Also, hold on. There we go. Do not disturb on Steam as well. Just to make sure. Oh, not yet. Oh, wow. I mean... Oh, yeah, they could. They could. Yeah, semifinals will be streamed um, with um, every single set, so... You do not need to worry. Ah. Yo, what's up, Connors? Hey! How you do, 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 do? Has Matui changed her team? I haven't seen them play in a while. Um, no, it's still Fukuo and Big Band. And I think that's the regular team they used. I, I really, I'm really sure. Ah, I'm good. Very nice to hear, Quam. As usual, it's Friday, so it should be a good time. <laughs> uh, although I feel a bit tired. Uh. Thanks again for letting me use your overlay. Ah, oh, you're welcome. I don't mind borrowing these kind of things to have us. It's for the community after all. Oh my god, an appetizer starts with a brass in the face against Painville 2. Holy moly. Ooh, let's see how appetizer works with the solo big bundle. Nice. Oh, okay, let's see the. Ooh, the Oki. Ah, didn't work out so well, and Soup is gonna take that for advantage. <gasps> Ooh, going for low. Ooh, okay. Careful. Whereas SSJ, oh my god. Eliza may have blocked that, but it's bleeding really hard right now. Careful. Oh, nice overhead. And, oh, getting Eliza in. Smart. I'm not sure if Appetizer wasn't able to confirm again against Parasol due to the lack of range they had just now. But again. Ooh. Also, I'm noticing Soup is playing a bit, um, how do you call it? Not so clean right now, which Appetizer is really taking advantage of. But clean, I mean, with like fully extended combos and save resets and enders. Solos are like taking fully advantage on that. Ooh. Full combo? SSJ? Yeah. Nice! Using also the co um the taunt. Appleza is really um hitting a power spike here. That's very nice of them. But Soup still has five bars. And this could be the end if I'm not mistaken. Level three. Oh another level three did not work because Parasol wasn't out. Oh nice! She's just gonna kill? No, it isn't. Oh, careful. Oh, SSJ! Painwheel dies, but Parasol blocked. Ah! Ooh, close game. But Soup takes it back. Oof. Can appreciate how much effort you put into it now. Aw. With the overlays, you mean? Yeah, I mean, with the Lila one, I just like slapped the logo into it just for funsies, so um, I thought, yeah, why not? We can use that. <laughs> um, I'm currently working on Skogel's EU's um, newer stream overlay. So, um, Lila's might be next, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Oh my goodness, Eliza is in the middle of the thing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, never mind. Okay. The skeleton is out. It's outside the big tuba zone. Out of the big trumpet zone. Over that. Nice. Off big band. Ooh. Okay. For oh, try to go for um, a charge um, stop. We said. It's a bit uh, funky when big band does that, actually. You have, like, some decent opportunities. Oh, nice overhead. And again, Big Man now taking a few big counter and resets. Ugh. Big damage. Oh, the napalm bombs. Saving soup from taking the damage and receiving a new opportunity to attack. 
It is going to kill. Yep. Install into a level 1 of pain wheels, like, dealing a lot of damage. Imagine not having a DP assist. In what world would we live in without any DP assist? Oh. Glorious. Would be way too good. I'm torn. I want to see Superman, but I was a solo band for too long. Oh. Are you going to betray your first main big bundle solo? My first main was Sarabella, and I can never betray her. Never ever. Until I play Peacock. <laughs> okay, it's 2 all. Again, Soup took these games quite decently, but Appetizer did as well a quite good amount of damage against them. Have you seen my new teamwork? I have not sharp actually. I haven't seen that many people actually play. Oh my god, Apple ties of fucking prairies! This push blocked my madman. Oh, <laughs> oh soup you idiot This big band is learning Oh no Oh careful Oh nice air grab okay Oh man, that was really cool of um, Appetizer, but now they're eating all the damage. Ooh. Ooh, careful, careful. Ooh, nice. Ooh, again, Super has a good pressure, and is it going to kill? Oh, it didn't do it, okay. But this kills, okay. Ah, uh, how the mighty Big Band Warrior has fallen. Soup takes it with a 3-0 against Appletizer Knight. Still a very good performance by Appletizer. We love us some good old solo Big Band. Also, Bella, Painwheel and Band. Hmm. That team works, yes. I assume you're running beat extent with um, the team chop with um, Big Band. With Bella makes sense. With Painwheel, it's a decent option, I've heard. Usually, H Brass is the most common thing, but beat extent also works very well for Painwheel. It's not a bad thing. And again, um, good DHG options after Dynamo. A very good option. Um, hold on, I was babbling way too much. Um, let's see. We got. Oh, very good. Um, let me just refresh, and we will have G2H and Milkoa actually. Milky. G2H. And we're going to announce the semifinals. Nice. Oh, please, challenge. I need to. Oh, wait. Um, I need to learn the Tarask Bella Band routes. Yeah, Bella Band um, is a very good team, surprisingly. What makes the team so unique is that they share, share almost. The exact same weaknesses. The exact same, which is purely unique to them. Purely unique to those two. Which makes learning a bit more um, interesting to say at least. Like you can't expect the same thing when you use Big Band or like Bella first or second, whatever you like. Usually it's Bella first, of course. But again, game plan is kind of similar. Kind of similar. Bella needs to play, um, again, a bit tipsy Tory. Like, get some confirms in. But once they get in, Bella and Band make a good blender team. And they hit hard. 
They're beating hard, my friend. Mm. The teacher hates Swift attacking Jeff. I mean, GIF, not Jeff. Don't kill me. With the happy Kazuya. Mm. Da, da, da. Let's see. Uh. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, I cannot find a funny meme. Honestly, Bella has been pretty easy to pick up. I was told one stop is the biggest thing, but I've been e-breaking for years already. That's true. Bella is overall a very simple character. For a grappler, she is able to go through many things that usual traditional grapplers just struggle with. I do have to say, I think Bella is more one of those um, semi-bruiser type of grapplers. Like the ones like Amiko or Alex, for example. It's not like, Ooh, I want to go for 360 non-stop. That's my entire plan. And do some weird Okizemes. No, um, Bella is kind of unique with that. Bella is kind of interesting. She likes to catch people with their mistakes. And has a great crouch and light kick. Nice range. Unlike a big Zangief over here who has to like be super patient, Bella can just like double jump. As many people may forget about that, like double jumping as a grappler is a good freaking thing. And have a charge move which gives you um, one armor when running. Also, again, as much as Gogol's is usually like very airborne, it is a good option. And you have three different things that you can do afterwards. Bella is a very decent pick. I wouldn't be surprised if Bella is um, like the seat of somebody becoming a grappler man. Haha, <laughs> hint hint. Was me before. Ah, uh, but Bella is just really fun to play. I hate Painwheel into Peacock. Painwheel into Peacock is... On paper you think Peacock and Painwheel would kind of work. But it's kind of a mess to like DHC into supers and whatnot. And I don't really enjoy the assist that Penguin provides. I would rather have like a Robo Beam or any other kind of projector like Fuku or whatever. I do not like throwing in Penguin like this. It's really weird. Uh. It takes some expert flying just to get around a decent piece zoning. Um, yeah. But then again, what pain wheels usually don't do against peacocks, which I've been like seen a lot of times, is that um, you can really pressure with like your armor in the air. You can do jumping HP, and while well, you just use it, you have like already like a bit of armor, right? And guess what? You can just like air cancel again. You can do it once per flight. And you get like a free nice pass. And peacocks are actually terrified of that. It's not surprising peacock throws out Lenny the instant they see a pain wheel. It's usually like a get the frick off me thing. Or they just try to keep on M bank and keep like a teleport ready. Pain wheels need to go in like super fast against peacocks. They should not try to like do those backups and see how to fly by bypass and whatnot. I've seen it multiple times. Do not give the peacock space. They just want that. The character has teleports for a reason just to achieve that. Do not give them the space. If peacock, a uh, peepop is pe if peacock is not able to prepare for any item drop, or a George's or whatsoever, peacock only has Mbang left, or just throwing out Lenny, but it's also not usually safe. 
Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, I was talking way too much about Pain Wheel and Peacock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mercs on a P rant. Oh, what? I'm not justifying my character. Anyway, um, I should comment it a bit more since it is semifinals. Oh, and bang! Does Milko know I confirm? Nice and no! Oh, the item was too small. Would have been a nasty cross up. Ooh. Such as Peacock can kill things, so can she freaking die. Like paper. Bebop. I love to talk about Bebop. Ooh, okay. D2H now need to see how to get into the robo. Never mind, a tick throw. Nice. Mm. I mean, surprisingly, um, Wilbur has like very similar issues as well. Once she's like in big pressure like this, she only has like standing HP. Or like the regular like escaping things. There's like nothing really unique to them. You don't have like a lock and load or like a beat extend or whatever funny move that could help you. Ooh, careful. Also, Milko having five bars. Are we going to see level three? You def, you should definitely use that. Um. Okay, s somebody's lagging, and that's not me. <laughs> Ooh, didn't finish off. Oh my! Into the oh my goodness. Okay, try to save Eliza, and Penguin is out. Oh, but Teacher H's Eliza gets in. <gasps> Never mind. What? Did I get kicked out? Oh, what? Oh, boy. Okay. Seems the connection is a bit rough. Maybe Milk? I'm not sure. Who took the game? Oh, okay. G2H took it, actually. What? Okay. Huh. Eliza Skeleton is fine, but goddammit, do I hate the Horrors and the boys. Merc lagging? What? Was I really lagging? God damn it. God damn it. There we go. I like Eliza. I don't know. It was a matchup because NA forgot about Eliza after release. NA does not play Eliza? What? <sighs> yeah, people have been sleeping on Eliza. They're saying, oh, she is just mid. And people just thought I was complaining for no reason. But she is strong, I swear. Isn't NI just all fortunes? Oh yeah, fortunes and Annie. And Robo. Fortune, Annie, Robo. That's the supreme SS tier team. The most flexible thing I've ever seen in this game. Like, people are not afraid to play Robo last um, anymore as an anchor, which is really interesting. Usually people avoided that as, a, as the pest, right? Like, no Robo last, that's terrible. But people just actually take the risk because the Robo beam is, is just way too strong. And Annie needs to be. Needs to be in the middle. The biggest glue character. It works as anchor, but is way too much of a good clue character. You do not play our first, you do not play our third, second, all the time. Greatest DH DHCs. Pre nerf Annie, though. It would have been funny if people figured out that starting out with the install, with just one bar in neutral at round start. This would have been busted. People did not abuse that yet. The insult is really strong. But anyway, uh, Milk are in a big of trouble, but with five bars here. Ooh. Again, G2H has been winning two games here. But again, Milk has been like giving quite their very best, honestly. Also, nice health regain. <gasps> oh, and the spiral into the Horus. What? Oh, those incomings are so annoying. Neck <gasps> Catching the bird of God. What? 
Wow, that was smart. Nice. Oh, side switch with the, um, the skeleton. Cross under. Ooh. Yeah, I hate Eliza heals too. I think heals in fighting games are like the most dissatisfying thing ever. Imagine you've like worked all the way with like neutral, then it's like, oh, I use my meter to heal myself. Cool. Elena had that in Third Strike. That wasn't so bad. But in Street Fighter 4, it was super annoying. You could not punish that. She healed so fast. Yeah, Matori also mentioning Street Fighter 4 already. Yep. Elena was so boring to watch and to play against. Yawn. Cool character design, but the super is... Who thought this was a good idea? Healing in general, like lifesteal things in fighting games. Terrible design. Terrible design choice. There are already like characters which are like turtlings and whatnot, and that can be a bit rough, but at least when you like got into them, you did progress, right? That's like, I got this, but healing. Ugh. Again, it fits Eliza, but I think the healing thing is so stupid. Why not make her blood actually like melt people's HP bars or something? That would be funny. Like, the blood is literally like <laughs> burning people to death. That would be interesting with Eliza. But then again, it's it's Eliza. We should not change that. I do not want to see any new Eliza changes. Anymore. I'm so sick of that. Crazy skeleton lady. Ooh, careful. Ooh, oh, wow, the peacock get out? And they stay. Oh my god, milk, you are... You dare so much. If you have like L George into like M George, which makes you is gives you like a safe escape, just L teleport. Just get the freak out of here and use Lenny. Just get the freak out of here. If you see a skeleton in front of you, you say no and get out of here. And you throw your big friend Lenny, the big bomb, the funny bomb. Ooh, nice. Oh, takes down um, the robo. Oh, oh my god, the dash. Side switch. Again, Penguin does not have like the fastest one, but in like one use times and whatnot, like, it is not a bad dash. You just dash like, ugh, oh, like a bit gumply, humply. Yes, that's how to describe it. Merc is dying a bit. What? Oh, I hate that my connection is so rough right now. You know what? Sea cleaner, help me! Ugh. But anyway, um, we had a very good set. Is YouTube also playing with me? Are you cooperating? Yes, we are. That was a free one. What kind of music is that? It's Glover? What? Sounds like Earthbound. Alright, Super Maturi. That sounds like a classic, actually. It sounds like a classic matchup. Super Maturi. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba Alright! Yeah, Matori and Super have like, been facing each other for quite a long time. <sighs> Wait, I read some of your BB tag. Hide in BB tag punches people who block it a lot cause he has insane chip damage on normals. Oh, I love the funny um, characters who do more chip damage than regular damage. In JoJo's Heritage for the Future, Rubber Soul Super, like, does m way more chip damage. You should not block against Rubber Soul. This is so stupid. Like, 
almost every move does more chip damage. Makes sense with like the stand power and whatnot, but again, it's so funny. If you take it directly, it's way less damage. But alright, um, ooh, Matoi gets a nice escape here against Parasol. Ooh, missed the drill, okay. What? What was that? Okay. Oh, the Eliza assist getting through, okay. Let me drink something real quick, actually. Mm. Uh. Ooh, the burst bait. This is a dead Fukua. Am I right? Yes, I am. Of course I am. Oh. Oh my god, the beat. Uh, the, the, the level one. Uh, timpani. I almost forgot the super name. Ooh, backdash. Matori, what can you do with your big band? Let's see. Ooh, the overhead. Another overhead. Oh my god, Parasol's nasty. Such an agile charge character. Terrifying. I wouldn't be surprised if Paris was like one of the most um, uh, popular characters in you, actually. Big Ben into peril like that. Be like that sometimes, it's bad. Yeah. Para versus Big Ben, it's mostly a good f matchup for Parasol, honestly. Oh, wow. Um, whoopsie. I forgot to switch from lobby <laughs> to um, in game and whatnot, and vice versa. Again, not like the worst thing, like Big Ben versus Robo, but uh, it's still zoning, and Parasol does have some good um, reversals. And nice buttons to contest against Big Band. Ooh. Nice, okay. Matori gets a good hit. I was about to say, neutral would have not ended well if they continued this way. Matori cannot contest um, Power Souls um, zoning. Not um, with just Big Band. Eliza Assist is giving uh, um, super, a very great defense. In particular and just switching into pain wheel with like an install is also a very safe bet and not even a bad choice too I'm just happy that actually pain wheel has been getting played more and more because there was like a time that no one played pain wheel because people were scared to learn her but now we see her quite decently and I'm happy Ooh. Let's see. Oh my god, the pain wheel assist was able to get let loose. Maturi should have like punished that. Ah. Uh. Oh, into install. Oh, missed that, okay. Ah. Uh. Also, by the way, um, pain wheel receives a bit less damage when being in the install. So if you somehow fuck up any kind of combo. Um, you still may get like an oopsie, I get a bit less damage because I'm in my install move, which is kind of good. I don't see her as decent, she's terrible. I'm just doing- what? I see a decent amount of pain wheels these days, like Wolfius, Matur not Matori Soup. Wolfius has been like running pain wheel for quite a long time. Hmm. At least I saw people try to play her at first. Again, I think like character design wise and whatnot, I think Pain Wheel is super cool. If Peacock was not my choice, then I would have made um, Peacock, um, Pain Wheel work actually, with Sarabella somehow. I would have made it work. But Peacock and Pain Wheel just doesn't make so, it's just P and Bello. P Bob and Bello. My favorite team. Pure zoning. No loss. Okay, a bit of a tipsy Tory neutral. Oh, beat extent! Oh, and jumping HK. The big magnet move.
Oh. Trust me, I'm a pain lover, just also a realist. Then you need to believe more! Only the greatest pain wheel players are also the ones who are just strong believers. You can only be strong with pain wheel if you have a lot of heart. Because, I'll be honest, pain wheel is the Captain Falcon of Skullgirls. And I'm not kidding. I am for real. I'm serious. Also, oh my god, the Fuqua damage on counter hit is a bit nasty. Not that Fuqua has a lot of damage potential. Oh my god, is this the way? Oh, almost. Anyway, but Maturi should be able to get it. Nice. A 2 1. Are we going to see a reversal set? A reverse set? Don't forget, you also need a strong wrist. I don't mind the quarter circle movements. Like, people are like, oh, I need to do it so fast in the middle of combos. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's a bit annoying with, like, a fight stick. But I also play with fight stick. And people who, like, use D-pad on, like, gamepad and whatnot. Or, like, hitbox. Have, like, way easier. I don't think it's, like, really the motion anymore with pen wheel. But you have to agree, pain wheel looks metal as fuck. This character is cool. Also, just really strange and funny character. Ooh, careful. Oh, nice. Ooh. Ooh, careful. Yeah, Carol has the most risk in this game. Yes. I think so too. I wish he had a more colors though. Or at least like more fun ones. Maybe just me, but I don't think Painwheel has that many good colors, sadly. Or at least I do not complement that well with others. But oh well. Matui doing a bit rougher right now. Ooh. Oh, Parasol died with the um, level 1 fireball. Oh, but Fuqua down too. And Big Band. Oh my god, no way. Are you serious? Oh, wow. That was a lot of space that Super was able to like give damage to Big Band. What the heck? I was like waiting for the side switch happening, but did not happen. And Soup's just destroys the Big Band. Just bleh. Sawing in half. Someone tried to tell me how cool Cat Girls of the Stars is? No. Cat Girls are kind of. I'm sorry. As much as many people say it, I don't really think they're really that impressive. I don't think they're that cool overall. I need to convert all the Penguin players to Carol players. Oh, Carol by her real name? Oh, that's cute. But she's a monster now! Ah! No, okay. Anyway, um, Sue versus Milkoa. The revenge set. R -r 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 revenge. Milk? Versus Soup! What do you guys prefer? There we go. Oh, hold on. Let's remove that. More Carol voice pack users for the culture. Oh, you mean like um, the volley, valley girl. Oh my. Ugh. The valley girl pain. Oh my goodness. Wait, hold on. There we go. Ugh, not my type of voice pack. But you know which voice pack I really enjoy, but no one uses? The double one. Republican car. My friend. I would choose double any day for president. Oh. I love I loved the volley girl voice pack. You do you, Quam. It's just not my kind of thing. 
Republican doublet is a word. No, it's the best. What? The voice is so fun. She's so funny. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, you forgot the stagger actually, my God. It almost backfired. And never confirm. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, the overhead. Nilko might be a bit unclean still, but they have been practicing Peacock a lot. Holy moly. With the resets. But even I can do them. I'm just way too lazy for that. <laughs> I'm way too lazy for this kind of pressure. Oh. Oh, yep, that confirms. Oh my god, the napalm pom saved. Oh, careful. Nice, the bomb. Yep, that's a full confirm. Nice. Very good. Nice. Whoa, milk is very good with Peacock. Watch Soup's health bar disappear. Copter, H-pin, H-press. Truly, it is disgusting. You know what I really want to see again, honestly? Maybe people will hate me for this. I want to see some Beowulf again. I want to see some Beowulf band. And I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. Holy moly. Oh, hey, solo poker. What's this? Um, this is Skogots. School Grills Tournament Weekly number 48. I have a Bale secondary. You better use Bale. I Bale has been dying so much. I do not see that many Bale players anymore. Bale Painwheel Bat Bale Painwheel Bat is a cool team. It's a good team. I I would maybe run that shit. I would run that if I I'm not lazy and have fun with the game at the moment, but uh. Bro, what what Beos in NA are eating? Um are there many I don't I don't know if they're like Beo players in NA or like that many. I do not know any. I do not even okay to be fair I do not know many people in the AA scene. Oh yeah, Dante. Yeah, of course. Dante plays solo Beo since ages. I know that. Okay, swing beats as well. Also, hi, Epaulette. How are you doing? Also, yeah, swing playing still. I do not know. Huh. Semi-retired. How sad. How sad. Ooh, careful. Also, um, nice um, air coordinating by um, Soup, by the way. Very, very good. Ooh, yep. Are we going to kill the Robo? I don't know if level 3 was necessary, but it's safe. Oh my, that was super close. I wasn't sure if Soup was able to, um, like, do anything after the attack happened. I actually want to see Beo do Beo things. Agreed, Solo! Agreed! I think Beo is still fun to see. The character is fun. He's so hype. Oh, try to snap. Mm, but not a big race on meter. Milk has like four bars. Ooh, careful. Also, so many snaps. Oh, Timbini. The Timbini. Ooh, full on combo. This is going to kill Big Band. Are we going to see in the second neck part? Yes. Watch the health go up. Oh, I don't like that. Even if it's not that much, I just don't like that. Ugh. I don't like that. Also, Pain Wheel with Big Band. It's not bad. Like, with Big Band on front. Because Pain Wheel is so small, you do barely see, like, Pain Wheel come out. Oh, I do neck bites. Ugh. 
Oh, oh, wasn't able to um, um, cancel flight too that fast. Nice, the air super. If there's one super you can mash, it's the air super. God damn, let's go. Also, can I just say, like, the voice work of, like, Pain Wheel is, like, really good. I think her voice is excellent. You just hear the power behind her, like, rah! Pain Wheel twice up. I want to see, oh, I want to see Tech play again. Oh, oh. Beowulf, Pain Wheel, and Big Ben. That, that was their team. Oh, I, oh, I can't wait till Tech comes back home. I'm not sure if they come back home actually. Sad face. I miss tech. Penny wheels, wise up. Merc gonna stop being cringe and have a pain wheel team? <laughs> oh, you mean my Peacock Bella team is cringe? Wow. That is so mean of you. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if I like. Pick the game up again, then maybe I'm gonna try like a full-on new team. That would be fun. My team is not crit. My team is cool. I'm like the TJ of EU, and I win tournaments of it. And I run around like a little baby and win. Pick the game up again. What do you mean? Um, I just like haven't played Skullgirls for like quite a while. That's what just what I meant. I've been busy with like other games and like other projects and whatnot. Like I love learning fighting games and whatnot, but currently it's just isn't the mood right now. P players acting like they got Riz. <sighs> of course we have. Do you see the combos that I pull off of Peacock? Do you see the spamming that I do with all the zoning? The only thing that makes me still bearable is that I play Bella. But that's also like a fudge stretch thing. Plus Bella does a lot of damage. Mm. Also, oh. Milka, oh my goodness, okay, soup getting with level 1. Oh, ah! What was it? Yeah, level 1 slaughter super of um, Eliza is also kind of decent, but following up with DHC is kind of tough of that. It's very helpful that um, Eliza received the neck bite super actually. Nice, no, okay. Okay, on a Riz O meter, P is far more bearable than Fortune. Yeah, I, all I see with Fortune is just like. Um, Viper Upper, Viper Upper, Viper Upper, Viper Upper. Blah, 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 blah. As armor and startup just like flies away, like, floop. That's all they do. Where are all the Fortunes who go like. Throw the head like instantly in neutral, like round start, like bam! I only play headless fortune. Fuck you. Sorry, Beo Brella band or Beo Brella Bella. I forgot. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, Umbrella and Beowulf are also kind of rock. Huh. I forgot. I forgot about Umbrella just now. Wow. Yeah, Umbrella is a weird grappler kind of character. And no, I think she's a grappler. You cannot deny me otherwise. She's a, she is kind of like a grappler in spirit. Mm. Oh, you're talking about like um, Milko's um, pe peacock and robo. Yeah, Milko's um, peacock is surprisingly actually kind of solid. I do think they should like release a bit less. Um, less pressure and should like take the space when I just like have it to like just zone out But overall they're not afraid to like go in and then no routes with the robo assist beam and resets Which are like very usually hard to dodge and just like react to Even I did not do that stuff. I wasn't able to do that. 
Or was at least too lazy to learn it. <laughs> mm, yeah, Robo is a bit on a medium size, I would say, alone. But Milk makes all up with um, their Eliza, actually. Milk's Eliza is very good, honestly. Surprisingly. Ooh, careful. Oh, beat extend. Nice reaction by Soup. Ooh, but Mr. Confirm. Ah. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, nice. Ooh. Into a laser, okay. It's fair. Oh, nice parry. <gasps> Almost. Oh, and SSJ, but... Yeah, that's gonna be it. Sadly, no revenge for uh, Soup. And Milk takes it with a 3-1. Beo Umbi. Yeah, kind of interesting how people have been like running those this team. A bit more. It has become kind of like a spicy flavor kind of team, I feel. All right, um, we have our finals now with, wait, hold on. Gone to Heaven versus Milko. Uh, 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 uh. Milko. Uh, Gone to Heaven. Finals. Uh. There we go. Don't worry about the fraud. That's probably a big band. <laughs> I love the idea of Ambi for a Beowulf team. You don't even have to run Band Bella anymore. Mm, yeah, that's true. Mm. The thing is... Ambi is like a special case kind of character where her neutral is really lacking without an assist or without any bar because you can really exploit Umbrella quite easily. Kind of funny since she's like a child and like, ha ah, ha ha, stupid, stupid kid. You cannot attack me, I'm Peacock. I zone you out. And as much as people were like afraid with like the Aegis Super of like Umbri, it's really easy to like bypass when like being in zoning mode as Peacock. It's not that difficult. Oh, nice. Again, G2H and Milka had like quite a decent amount. And oh my god, G2H dodged the item drops and whatnot so nicely. Ooh, but now let's see. Ooh. It's a bit hard to tell what Milko is going to do. But also with G2H because they know how to use their armored normals very well. This is what makes G2H very actually good. Right now, yeah, see this? There we go. Oh, although Painwheel took way more damage. G2H had to learn and adapt with their armored normals due to just like having Eliza assist. Which makes G2H a very unique kind of player you could say who's able to use pain wheel in a very specific potential way which some don't really do at all at least I see if I know a pain wheel player who takes advantage of the armored normals it's mostly G2H in EU at the very least oh neck bite ooh that's a dead yep and with the burst hit Clean. Ooh. Oh, okay. Command grab. Saved it a tiny bit. Also, like the medium command grab when like happening with a side switch, it's usually a mistake. Usually, um, pain wheels want to do like flying or something. I've noticed that when I played her quite a lot. Um, um, when I learned her or like tried to learn her like a f few months ago. Or like a year ago almost actually, what am I saying? Alright, Milko are taking the first game. 
Hmm. Also, by the way, um, G2H is from winner side and Milko from user, so Milko has to win two sets for the people who just joined the Teehee. Interestingly, G2H and Milko never faced each other during the bracket in the tournament. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, nice. Yep, yeah, Milkra um, threatening with the medium item. Very good choice. Again, once Peacock has like medium item up against Pain Wheel, it's Peacock is like really safe, and Pain Wheel has to do some guesses. So overall, Pain Wheel needs to try and play super aggressively, like super anga banga. And nice, actually, G2 found a nice opening and getting both Robo and Pain Wheel. I mean, and Peacock. What? <laughs> Ooh, careful. Nice. Milkor may have the pressure here, but they need to respect when Painwheel has the normal armor. Armored normals. Argus. Oh, that's a dead Painwheel. Ooh. Oh, nice item. Oh, it's unsafe. Oh, no. Detroit's not punishing that. Oh. Unfortunate. Lenny, just making it a bit more safe. Nice choice. Also, um, very clever of Milko um, to go this kind of like pressure-wise because Lenny was able to explode way earlier due to that. Milko just like damaged Lenny through all the hits. Okay, Milk taking the second game. Holy camoly. Hmm. Shop and Quamus, you're talking. I cannot follow the conversation, so I cannot add anything. <laughs> uh, someone tell D2H that they can pick up in the air with jumping light punch. Jump like kick, jump kick, and it will put them back on the ground, and they won't have used a, a flight cancel. Um, that's true, but... um. I think they know. I don't know uh, the differences between like doing a flight cancel landing and doing it with like a normal actually. I do not know the uh, pros and cons on that with each. Oh and right into the item. Oh my god. Yeah teacher H needs to put out the pressure. Exactly. Exactly. Trying to get in like that. Oh, but not into the medium. Into the medium item. Oh. Yeah. Milko, as much as Lenny is really fast, you need to use L-Bang in order to make it safe. This can really kill you if not careful. Some people are going to like take advantage and like super and blow you up with your own Lenny, which is, would be very sad. Oh, no. As bad or like as sad it is kind of like to say, I think it would be a bit of a better choice if G2H is going to start with Eliza first next round or something. At the very least, Peacock has to work on round start. Because Eliza is truly the only formidable kind of character who can face Peacock. Um, defeat fire with fire, you could say. But also again, G2H knows the peacock matchup it's not like they're like not n they're not like new to this but then again, it's just my thought but probably it's just d2h like ways of going in and whatnot Ooh. all right milko resetting the set winning the first um set around here and now the two finals begin There we go. Oh. Does that something by accident? There we go. Okay. I will call it. Oh, okay. Oh, it's up and Quam is like doing the stuff. Ah. Alright. G2H 
Sticking with Painwheel Point. I respect that. I respect that. Ooh. Oh, H Beam also like facing as Painwheel is like such a bother. Nice confirm, but oh no. No. I think some lagging happened. And D2H wasn't able to pick up with um, Eliza Assist. Ooh. But as much as uh, Milkor's killing spree has been going on, Pain will. I mean, Peacock is now taking some damage. Oh! Yeah, the tag does not work when the enemy's in the corner, as pain, when like tagging in pain wheel. Oh, the big damage. Oh. Into the. Oh, yikes. Yeah, D2H either switches out or like goes in hard. There's no other way with pain wheel. Decide fast, D2H. Nice, okay, the tag, but <gasps> did not hit the robo. Oh, sad. It really sucks. Nice grab, okay. Also, G2H has been saving four bars. Surprisingly, that pain will even got that much bar to begin with. Nice ship, but oh no, harvest confirm. Uh, I know you can confirm into a combo um, after um, the cruiser. I think it's crouching um, HK with Eliza. Oh, okay, careful. Ooh. Oh, nice. Getting a skeleton out. Never mind. Look, I'm playing super careful. But at the same time, also very pressure heavy. Yeah, that was a bit of a mess. Milko could have, like, confirmed multiple times. Jeez. Ooh. <laughs> Level 3! Actually hits! I thought Wobble was able to grow cover afterwards. Nice catch by, um, D2H. Okay, Milk goes Eliza, that's gonna be trouble. And the air super into- oh wow, level 3 actually goes into it. I didn't know. It's nasty. Is this how you see Peacock players, actually? Hmm. So this is how people see me sometimes. That's strange. But again, doesn't matter what character to pick, Milk Gore has been practicing for a reason and I do not deny them their victory doesn't matter if they play peacock this character still takes as much effort as anyone else still a strong character of course but still the same effort you need to put in it's not like a lame ass peacock like Milko actually usually goes in quite well Oh, nice tag, okay. Oh, oh, drop that G2H, okay. Let's see with Milkor here. Oh, okay, getting some space. H beam. Get the safest things out. Oh, skeleton. Nice, okay. Getting pain wheel in, but took out a bit of H beam damage. <gasps> nice. Do expect the armored normals. This should be a dead peacock. Yep, death crawl and bada boom. But Milko are able to build up a lot of meter due to playing Zonas. Ooh, nice, okay, the low, but Robo dodged that. I mean, blocked that. Ooh. I do know what g Trade is going for, like trying to get like a bit of shield um, pressure into the assist to like. Just get more uh, space to even like crack the defense. It has been like one of G2H's like main things that they have done. Ooh. Oh, it's really hard to say. Nice. Okay. Oh, the cruise. Into Harris. Nice choice. Very popular choice. Are we going to see level 3? Maybe? Neck bite. Okay. Into level 3 now, okay. That's fair. But now facing Milkos. Oh my god, nice dash. Cross under. Into attack, oh my. G2H playing way more creative than usual. 
playing. Yeah, definitely. Oh my god, the spiral intro, just another crouching leg kick. G2H is trying to go through the trick boxer. Oh, oh no, the devourer actually hits. That's the super privilege. Ooh. Oh, we confirms. Are we gonna see Neckbite? Yep. Nico is going to use the meter. Yep. Ooh, okay, Pain Wheel has to work. Will well. Oh, confirms. <gasps> Teacher Age wasn't able to actually use the armored normals. And that's it. Milk got taking the second game in the second set. G2H having no time to even get a break from this. Truly, they have been clinging on winning these games. But Milko has just like prevented it over and over. Let's pray for the pain wheels. Let us pray! Alright, this might be the last game for tonight. Ooh. Oh, gets it with a nice confirm by Mako. Ooh, try to go for. Oh my goodness. The cross under almost went wrong by Midgore's part, but everything's safe in Peacock Land. Everything well in Peacock Land. Let's see with G2H. Oh, nice burst bait attempt, but. Ooh, almost worked. Oh, Lenny. Oh, that hits Pain Wheel. No, never mind. Blocked it, okay, nice. I thought um, they weren't able to um, block in time. Alright. Ooh, Melkor getting into the field. Let's see. Oh, the overhead. Going very fast. Did my YouTube playlist stop? Yes, continue. Don't ask me that stuff. There we go, okay. Okay, G2H. Oh, wow, the air grab into neck bat. I mean, net bat. Bleh. The air super. There we go. Nice, okay. Death call. Yeah, with the install, that's gonna kill Eliza. But Robo and Peacock are still alive with free bars. G2H needs to stay on the pressure side. The robot cat and the funny peacock cartoon person do not deserve any space. Also, item drop assist. I did not knew to run that. Milka almost got them the turn back. Holy moly. That would have been nasty. Oh, getting both of them. Argus, okay, making it safe. Ooh, kind of messed it up. I think Milko could have like ended it by that. But probably a bit panicky. Oh! Yeah, that's death. Oh, okay. Ooh, Eliza needs to be careful. Cross under. Horace. Oh, 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 that's so close. Mmm, and bang. Oh, and Mr. Confirm. Level 3, nice! Catch the, um, air dash of Peacock. No! Oh, the air spacing, but okay, air grab. Detroit very close. Milk or, um, still has Robo. M M P jumping MP. But oh, it's gonna pressure. It's gonna um chip out. Yep. There we go. Oh wow! Milk or taking both sets with a free O. Whew. Oh boy, alright, um, congratulations Milkor! You are Friday Fight Time Encore, Skogol's weekly number 48 champion! Champion! Ba -ba -ba -ba. And, yep. Nice, I already put everything in, oh I love it. I love it when all my participants cooperate with me. Oh, but that was a very tough set for G2H. Oof. I felt the dedication to like stick with Pain Wheel on point. 
I would have switched to Eliza a long time ago, I think. Usually Eliza has like a better um, time against Peacock on round start like this. But G2A just know their way, so Painwheel on top. On point, I mean. Jeez. Uh, Alright, let's read out the full on results. No full results. Oh, followed. Oh, Solar Poker! Oh, finally follow me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Da -da -da -da. I am happy that I convinced you to follow. Tee hee. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Um, yeah, let me just read out all the participants for tonight. At number seven, we have Polkrom. Polkrom, I saw you a bit play, but um, yeah, besides like the little um, server mix up, um, it was really nice that you were like participated here for the first time. And um, again, just because seven plays. Doesn't mean you're a bad player. Again, it's like an open tournament. Anybody can join. There's no skill gapping whatnot. But it's very cool of you that you like touch the borders for the first time here. Because once you like play a bit more here, you get to know all those players. It's going to be your training hall, you could say. Of um, training and improvement. Yeah. <laughs> but no, um, Polkrom, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed yourself. It was a small tournament up overall. Um, I hope it still was an enjoyable case for you. At um, number five, Azumi. Azumi, um, I sadly wasn't able to catch you on in the tournament. I'll make sure I'm going to catch you next week. That's for sure. Super sad I couldn't see your team or like the character you play solo or whatever. But again, Wolfius told me you're from Belgium. Both of you said you were quite a promising person, so um, I do hope you're going to keep up with that as well. <laughs> also, let me like, zoom in like one more time, actually. Yeah, that sounds looks very better, actually. Hold on. Um, uh, ah, all right. Another number five. We have solo band main appetizer night themselves. Oh, well, not the biggest tournament performance, but I do enjoy the parries that you just had against Matori. That was a lot of fun. Oh, no, not Matori. I'm um, Soup, actually. Yes, yeah, Soup. Um, Soup trying to like go for the same, like routine with like jumping light punch into jumping, um, heavy punch. I think it was the entire time, but then you said like, nah, -uh, I gotta parry that. I do not push block. I parry. <laughs> but again, appetizer. I hope you still enjoy solo band as much as we all do. <laughs> but no, for real. If you just enjoy solo band, I do like a dedicated player with character loyalty. I like players who just do their things. Doesn't matter what kind of tier list they have. <laughs> but again, thank you so much for joining in. Matori. Fukua Big Band. Fourth place! Hmm. Kind of a middle part. Not bad, not bad. Again, it has been some time since I like saw you play or like remember I even see saw you playing Matori. I do not know why. It's probably just my mind for not like playing for myself actually. <laughs> uh but again, Matori, um a decent tournament run. Fourth place? Not bad, not bad. Decent one. Soup apt number three. Ooh, soup. What can I say about soup? A long time. Okay, soup, you're not my rival, actually. I do have to say that. You're not my rival. I'm sorry. I'm best at spending my rival. I cannot just throw around the term rival just because I feel like it all the time. But soup, you are a very strong opponent. And you definitely showed it with third place. But G2H at placement number two just came across very mean and also milk girl, but we get to them very a bit later oh gone to heaven Painwheel and eliza a very traditional team they've been like playing for quite a long time well not traditional like i don't know anyone who plays this kind of team just like g2h very unique player and um 
I just like their style. They've been sticking with this team for ages. Yet they just do their thing and it's always fun to see. Again, if you watch this D2H, um, I really enjoy your pain wheel and how you play Eliza. Very unique compared to other players who like run this kind of like, um, not team, like these characters, I mean. Sorry to say that. Again, very, G2H having a very precise pain wheel. Super precise. They do not um, rely on like brass assists or something like H beams. They only have like um, the spiral assist with Eliza, which is not bad. Again, it helps. But um, again, it's like a different special spice that G2H is like running with this team. And again, always fun to see. But the surprising number one with Milk Grower playing this time Peacock, Robo, and Eliza. What a team! It kind of gave me gave me some um, pack um, vibes actually. Well, not that much zoning, but a lot of pressure. Milk Grower played Peacock like a madman. Really pressure heavy. Milk Grower has been like doing a lot of work the couple of like months actually or not even like months like just one month like milk got only like started pretty strong with just like soul Liza. ah but again the strong ones just deserve the big wins <laughs> ah i talk way too much i need to drink a bit more <laughs> ah wait uh i need to like check the stream messages a tiny bit because i have been Missing out on some. Ah, just shop and Chrome is like sharing some Painwheel stuff. Again, Painwheel is cool. Painwheel is a cool character. And we all can agree on that. <laughs> uh, but alright, um, I do need to walk my dog for now. And I think I'll be ending the stream right here and right now. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, uh, there we go. Alright, um... Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Again, uh, thank you, Solo, for also joining in for the first time on the stream. I hope you enjoyed yourself um, as much as I did and the other ones as well. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, Chap. Thank you for the stream. No, oh. But again, it wouldn't be possible without you all. <laughs> uh, but alright. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, um, thank you all again for watching. And for ones who have not talked or whatever. And um, overall, don't forget to join in on um, Skull Bats tomorrow, as usual. We need to support um, Skull Bats EU, the community. <laughs> we didn't have like that many full tournaments, but um, it doesn't matter how many people play. It's just the quality of things, right? I don't want to have like big um, Skull Bats be like that big after all, so I don't mind that. Skull, Skull Bats is EU only, right? Yes! On the main Skull Girls EU Discord channel. But I think you should all be in there because you would have not been able to join in and fight a fight time without it, so... Yeah, makes sense. Also, wait, wait, hold on. We need to wait somebody real quick. I need to find a right person. Because I would like to get the funny, um, what's it called? Um, Twitch stream achievements T and want to unlock more stream functions, which kind of sucks actually Like why do I need to like do this necessary little task like these? Oh Sage is streaming perfect Sage slash rate D kill Sage All right, are we everything done? Nice. All right. Red is up, everybody. I see you all tomorrow at Espets. And I wish you all a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend. All right. See you all. Bye-bye.